Hope you're doing well. Today I'll be telling you more than 10 places which you can visit in Mombasa at a very affordable price. This comes after I did a video of three places which you can visit in Mombasa for totally free. I'm gonna leave the link right here. So make sure you go and check that video out. If it's your first time to see this face, it's your boy man came and kill it here who does a very very great videos about Mombasa and all the world. So make sure to subscribe cause the best video has not yet been uploaded so stay tuned. Let's go to our number one Nguhuni Sanctuary. This is one of the best places in Mombasa which is unknown to many. It's located about 15 minutes ride from Bamburi stage on your way to Kiembeni. If you know Kiembeni, Nguhuni Sanctuary has different kind of wild animals like the giraffes and many other. This place is best for activities like photo shooting, chilling out with friends, you can take a walk or you can do bird watching. You can hire the place for private ceremony like birthday. Uh, weddings, receptions, and a lot of activity. You can even come there and do camping if you're one of those people who love camping. The entry at this place for residents is 350 Kenya shillings, and for those who are non residents, it's only, only 800 or 850. I'm not sure. 800, guys. <laughs> only 800. The second one, the Mambo Village. Oh my god, that place is so beautiful. I've ever been there, in fact. I'm gonna leave a link here. This place is located in Nyali. This is a place where you go if you want to see Mambas. Into brackets, crocodile or crocodile. Or call them alligator, I don't know. But alligator is Mburu Kenge. I guess so. You can also find other animals like tortoise. Do you love tortoise? I don't know. There is a small shopping center where you can buy different kind of traditional Kenyan clothes and also you can get wood carved uh, animals and such things like that. Let's go to our number three which is Wild Waters. Wild Waters is a neighbor of Mamba village. That means Wild Waters is located in Nyali. I'm sure you have already guessed what we are talking about. In Wild Waters, as the name suggests, we are dealing with water, water activities. There's a lot, a lot of water activities from slides to other things. You can swim and just enjoy yourself there. And also you can order some nice food. The entry for residents that are gonna use the slides is 1,600. And for the non-residents who they're using the slide is 1,800. For those people who don't want to use the slides, which means they are also they are not going to swim, the entry is only 300, 300, 300. So the number five is one of my favorite plays among all. This place is called the Go Cut. What the Go Cut? This is a place where you go to have fun. Enjoy yourself. You can go with your kids, family, friends. Oh man, this is a place where anybody can go and have fun. The things which you can do at the go kart are like there is zip lining, VR roller coaster. That is virtual reality. You are there just going. You know, I don't know which place in Mombasa has roller coaster. Also, there is bowling and uh, not forgetting the racing stimulator where you just sit drive race but reality you're just there if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see such kind of videos and traveling content please 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 subscribe subscribe going to our number six which is halapak some people refer to this place as a zoo in a rainforest. It is located beside Bamburi Cement Factory. I know you guys have heard about Bamburi Cement Factory. This place has different wild animals, but the most stroked activity that goes on inside Hala Park is the feeding of the giraffe. And the entry is very affordable. For resident adults, it's 500 and for children who are residents, it's only 200. 
while for non-residents i'm not sure but i guess it's 1600 or something like that our number seven is bombolulu workshop center this center was created for disabled people so that they can have income or they can create things for their own and it's a very very special place where you can go and appreciate their talents you can promote them by buying clothes jewelry reels or wood carved animals and a lot a lot of things which i've just forgot about i'm sorry what? <laughs> number eight is marine national park you can take a boat ride with a glass window on the bottom where you will see different kind of fish or when you reach at the deep sea you can do snorkeling 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 ah. you can do a deep sea diving our well, number nine is the mombasa butterfly where those people who love butterfly you can go and see different kind of species i don't know it's yeah and take a lot of pictures post them on your instagram or wherever you post them who cares i don't know <laughs> our number 10 is a place where you people have ever heard about it it's called the 40 jesus this is a place with a very historic story of the colonial period you're gonna enjoy learning a lot about what happened in the previous years the entry fees they're pretty affordable <laughs> So for the remaining ones, these are just places which are consider that they are interesting for people who are new to Mombasa and also for the locals. For example, if you want to visit different markets in Mombasa, you can go to Marikiti Market which is at the town and there's different things you can shop from Mabuyu, Achari and also the Vitenge clothes. Not really Vitenge but the Dera. Yeah, there are there are clothes, and also if you love spice, you can buy there, and you can go to Congo Air Market, which according to me is one of the biggest market in Kenya. But they have ever done a video about this place. I'm gonna leave the link right here, so make sure you check it out. You can also go to the Mombasa Task, where you will take pictures to show everyone you are in the <laughs> to show everyone that you are in Mombasa. Yeah. You can also go to the beaches. Mombasa, we have almost three or four or even more public beach where you can go, enjoy yourself, swim. No one is restricting you like Nairobi. Nairobi, you know, guys, you have to go to for, you have to go to look for a swimming pool so that you can swim. But in Mombasa, you just decide I need to go to the beach, you just go. You can also go to the Mamangina waterfront where you can just sit down, enjoy the breeze, eat. The crepes, mohogo, cassava, deep fried, put some masala inside there. Oh my god, that thing is very, very yummy. And the final, you can take a ride with the ferry, which is totally free. And I think that's my last point of the day. And if you enjoy, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, it will be very, very sad for you to leave without giving it a thumbs up, a like. Please, please, like, 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 like the video. Share it with their friends so that they can know different places which they can visit when they are in Mombasa at affordable price. So thank you so much for watching till this far, man. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.